Do you take advice from people that you don't trust? Chances are you probably don't, so why should it be any different between you and your vet? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from ourpetshealth.com where my aim is to bring you pet health information all designed to help you and your pet live a healthier, happier life. Having a trusting relationship with your vet is actually one of the most important things that you can do to make sure that your pet gets the care that they need. And that's not just the care when they become unwell or injured, but also the care they need when it comes to preventing problems and keeping them as happy and healthy as possible. And it's not just you who needs to trust your vet, it's also your vet who needs to trust you. And the reason for this is that you need to be confident in your vet's ability, in your vet's desire to do the best for your pet when it comes to following any instructions that they give you. We don't take advice from people that we don't trust and that we don't like and if your vet falls into that category then the chances are you're going to ignore pretty much everything they say even if what they say is absolutely the best thing for your pet. But the roles can be reversed as well because if your vet doesn't trust you it may be they practice what we call defensive medicine and that is a case of trying to rule everything out, trying to make sure every single box is ticked, T's are crossed, eyes are dotted so that if you do complain then they've got a lot to fall back on to say that they did absolutely everything that they could. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with this but it can mean that you're going to get an answer to what your pet's problem is less quickly. It can be that it does cost you um, more money because your vet orders tests that maybe aren't a hundred percent essential or maybe that you'd be happy to skip if your vet was confident that you wouldn't then complain should something go wrong. So this Relationship of trust is just incredibly important and it will allow your pet to get the best care that they need. So how can we develop this trusting relationship? Well, the first thing is, is that you have to visit your vet regularly. So follow their annual health check advice. That's not just vaccinations, but an examination. Have a good discussion about actually what you expect with regards to your pet's care. So do you want absolutely everything done? Or actually, would you prefer that really your vet cut to the chase and they just ruled out the most common problems? Um, you know, what's your budget that you need to work with? If you've had all of these discussions with your vet before time, then when your pet does become unwell and when they do need treatment and they do need more advanced care, your, that relationship is going to have been built up to such an extent that you already kind of know what to expect from one another and you can work much more effectively at getting your pet better. Make sure you check out all of my other daily Decembers linked on the screen now and I'll see you tomorrow.